Right, hi everyone, Mrs Martin here. I'm going to show you today how to do a monoprint. Um, now, this is part of your NPA tasks. This is um, under the one of the three printing activities that we're going to do, and it's probably the most straightforward one. Now, the theme that I asked you to do was in response to taking three photographs in your local area um, in response to the word nature. So you'll see today, that I have my phone in front of me, that I've taken a photograph of a tree because I think it's really a fabulous silhouette for this printing activity. So I've decided to use that one today. And I'm going to also show you the different materials that I've got to hand so that you can be set up correctly at home. So you're going to need a few sheets of paper. I would say ideally three sheets round about the same size. You are going to need some sort of um, screen to apply your ink to. Um, here I've got a glass sheet but an old plastic wallet or something like that would be absolutely fine. Just something that you're able to put the, the ink straight onto that isn't going to cause any issues if it's um, damaged. Um, ideally you want to have some tracing paper. I've got this stuff just out of the works but you could order it online or if you've been able to pick some up from school that would be great in preparation for this. You also need tape, ideally masking tape. You won't need a lot, you literally just need a wee bit. I've just got some tape here, that'll do as well. Um, and you are also going to need a pencil to draw out, a pen, and you'll understand why we need that pen. It, it doesn't need to be a pen, just another colour of pencil will be absolutely fine, um, and you'll understand why. You'll also need some sort of printing ink. I would recommend black. This is the stuff that we have in school that we order from Specialist Crafts. Um, you can borrow it from school or if you're interested in getting your own, I would just go for something like a, a block printing a watercolour of black. And you will also need a roller. All right. Um, now, not a roller that you paint the wall with. This is quite a firm roller. You'll be used to seeing these in the art department. Um, it's got quite a firm and smooth surface. Okay, so we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is quite literally get my image back up on my screen. I've got my phone here, but I've just got it to the side. It may go off. Um, and I'm going to start off by just doing a really simplistic line drawing of this silhouette. And you want to keep it quite simple, folks. We're not looking for anything overly complex here. And again, you'll understand why when it comes to the actual printing. So I'm just putting it to simple line shape. And I want to start doing the trees that branch out. I'm not going to put every single one of them in, but just enough that kind of gives the impression of what's going on here. done just a few more I'll add in because I do think there's quite interesting shapes especially over here at this side Right, and you could keep going, but I'm just going to stop at that. I think that's enough. All right. So now we're going to move on to uh, the preparation stage for mono printing. So I'm going to take my sheet of paper. And I'm going to also take a sheet of tracing paper. I 
and I'm going to line them up so they overlap slightly and I'm going to attach them to the sheet of paper below and that's what your tape here's for. As I said, masking tape's better because when you take it off it's not going to cause any damage but don't worry too much about it. Um, right, so we've got that and then we're going to take our ink and we are going to cover this. Okay, taking your roller, covering as much as you can. It doesn't need to be the full screen, but just big enough that it can fit the whole drawing on with ink under it. That nice sound, it looks a bit like leather and it sounds like Velcro. That's a lovely amount of ink. Make sure it's completely covered, it's not too light or too dark in areas, um, so it's not patchy. Right, so then what we're going to do is we are going to carefully lay our sheet down. Okay, so our sheet now has tracing paper the drawing and the paper it's going to print on so it's three layers right and this is why the pen's now important we don't want to put our fingers down on this at all now because anything we do could transfer on so if i put my hand there i could transfer fingerprints onto the other side we simply want to take our pen and the reason we want to take our pen is because we're going to draw over the top of the lines that we have just created with the pencil and by using pen, we'll be able to see what lines we've marked out and what ones we haven't. A coloured pencil will be absolutely fine as well. Um, and so quite easily, all we're going to do is just lean a bit heavy. And start tracing over our drawing, putting in the lines that we want to see. And you want to work relatively quickly here so that the ink is still wet and you're going to get maximum transfer. Don't worry if you don't get it exactly on. Tape just helps to hold things in place. Okay, right, I feel ready to take this off. Okay, so once you've drawn around all your lines, quite simply all you're going to do is pull all three layers off and hopefully you will have a monoprint. Yes, we do. All right, but you'll also see that on here it's sort of embossed this kind of um, outline shape. So what I would recommend you do at this point is you put your artwork back down very gently with your hand just tapping it. Uh, you should really clean your roller uh, before doing this bit or ideally if you've got two rollers but hey I'm just going to go for it and on the other side press quite firmly
all right. Once you feel you've pressed firmly enough, just peel it back and you should hopefully have a positive and a negative of the tree. Granted, these ones are upside down from each other, but if I just move everything out the road so that you can see this a bit better, and there you go, a positive and a negative monoprint of the tree.